I think we will be continuing to explore the solar system and beyond the solar system uh, robotically, but using different sorts of spacecraft, much smaller ones, kind of nano explorers if you like, which we'll tend to send out in larger numbers and they'll work cooperatively to, uh, to analyse data uh, and to send signals you know, back to us on Earth to further, further our knowledge. In 50 years time I'm sure we'll have had many, many more science probes and discovered many, many more aspects about our solar system and beyond. I, I think in 50 years we'll be dominated by private industry. You see now with SpaceX and orbital scientists going to the space station. Uh, eventually they'll be taking humans to the space station. I think the future of rockets is definitely expendable or reusable rockets. We've been using the same technologies for the past 50 years since the lunar uh, mission days. So we've got rockets that can fly up and come back down, what SpaceX is trying to do, or expendable cheap ones. We'll probably have had some preliminary trips to Mars. Uh, we may have had half a dozen astronauts on the surface. Um, I don't think we'll be setting up Mars 1 space colonies, um, but uh, I think operations into low Earth orbit and permanent bases on the moon by then. But also it's about human exploration and going beyond our own planet and beyond our moon and where we're going to go next. So those are really exciting things to think about. How we can make deep space colonies, whether we could send people to other planets, whether we could send them outside of our solar system and really do long term deep space travel. So all of those things are really exciting things that the technology is beginning to come and we just have to really look to the future and have the inspiration to drive those missions forward.